Hey everyone, happy Juneteenth. Today's book of the day is Juneteenth by Anise Rochelle, an educational book for children to teach you all about this holiday. Come on, let's go read the book of the day. Today's book of the day is Juneteenth by Anise Rochelle. Hi, I'm Dalen. I woke up very early this morning because I'm excited about this special day. Today is Juneteenth. Do you know what Juneteenth is? On June 19th, 1865, the last slaves were freed from Galveston, Texas. We have a big party every year on this day to celebrate our freedom. I will be wearing red, black, and green today. These colors hold a special meaning. Red represents the blood black people shed during their fight for liberation and the blood that unites people of Africa's ancestry. Black represents black people and green represents the land and natural wealth of Africa. Marcus Garvey, a black leader and political activist, came up with this concept. The concept was then turned into a flag. Flags have always represented national, racial, and homeland pride. Marcus Garvey thought it was important for people of African ancestry living in America to have a flag too. The flag later became a worldwide symbol for the liberation of black people. On Juneteenth, we put up decorations all around the house and in our front and backyard. There are banners and balloons everywhere. I popped a balloon and it made a very loud sound. The sound startled my dad and it was so funny. We invited family and friends over to celebrate with us. We're going to have so much fun. I can't wait to see everyone, especially my grandparents. Grandma and Grandpa are bringing my favorite dessert, pineapple upside down cake. I love my grandparents so much. My great grandmother's coming over too. She's 95 years old. Her great grandparents were slaves. Do you know what slaves are? Slaves were people of African descent that were sold as property all over the world. And some of them were brought to America where they were forced to work for free. Slaves were treated very badly, and it took a very long time to gain their freedom. That's why Juneteenth is such an important day to celebrate. I love a lot of things about Juneteenth, and the food is one of them. My mom is in the kitchen cooking, and my dad is in the backyard barbecuing. Everything smells so good, I can't wait to eat. Our ancestors made barbecuing a big part of Juneteenth. Do you know what ancestor means? An ancestor is any person from whom you are descended. Our ancestors would put a huge barbecue pit in the center of the celebration. We do the same with our grill to share in the spirit and aromas that our ancestors would have experienced during Juneteenth. We eat the same foods our ancestors ate during Juneteenth as well. Meats such as beef and lamb are put on the grill. In addition to the smoked meats, baked macaroni and cheese, potato salad, and baked beans became a traditional part of the menu. Everyone also brings a dish to share, just like our ancestors did. Red food and drinks are also custom at Juneteenth gatherings. Red velvet cake, watermelon, and barbecue sauce are some of the red colored foods we eat. The red foods symbolize the blood shed throughout enslavement and during the fight for freedom and equal rights. Our ancestors had so much courage and strength. The signature red drink our ancestors consumed on Juneteenth was strawberry soda pop. In Cleveland, Ohio, we just call it pop. I don't get to drink pop often, but my mom allows me to partake in observance of tradition. Juneteenth is filled with lots of food, but it's also filled with lots of fun. 
Our ancestors played baseball, went fishing, and put on rodeo shows. We don't have bulls in the city for a rodeo show, but my mom rents an electrical bull every year. It's so fun to ride. We also take time to focus on self-improvement as a people. An elder or child gives a speech on the topic of self-improvement and explains what Juneteenth is and why we celebrate it. Is that a knock I hear at the door? Let me go see who it is. It's the Moja Squad and their parents. I'm so happy to see Aaron, Natara, Naya, and Natasha. They are my best friends. It was great talking to you all, but I have to go. Guests are here and more will be arriving soon. I hope you learned a few things about Juneteenth and I hope you join in on the tradition of celebrating it yearly. Happy Juneteenth! The end. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.